Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a building falling transition effect in After Effects. First of all let's rename our clip to original and duplicate it. Make sure to toggle off bottom clip and rename duplicated one to foreground. Grab a roto brush tool now and double click on foreground layer. Roto brush the car in the foreground as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with it, change feather to 10 and then hit on freeze button. Once the freezing is done, go back to composition. First step is done and we have a clean car and foreground layer. Now let's duplicate your original layer and move it above foreground. Toggle it on and rename it to building slash animation. Scroll somewhere in the middle and split that layer. Then make sure to select first part, then right click on it, go to time and select freeze frame. So now we have a still image and then video goes normally. Let's rename that layer to freeze for example and then grab a pen tool and let's mask the building. Once you're done, scroll to the very end of freeze layer and press P on your keyboard to open position. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now scroll to very beginning and move the position all the way up. In case if you want your building to come up from the ground and make a building grow up effect, move the position down. Let's check the animation now. Second step is ready, now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine or play around until it's cool to you. Enable motion blur on freeze layer. I'm happy with the animation but, now we have that black background that looks annoying, there are several fixes and one of them is replacing the background with an image and animating. That's the easiest one and since the video's length is 1 or 2 seconds, nobody is going to notice any changes, but it really depends on what you will use as a background. In my case, in the background there is a sky with clouds, so it would look cool if I use a clear sky image and then the building comes in and the transition will be 100% accurate, but, let's use any other background that will look fine as well. I have downloaded that image from pxels.com, it's free to use, and you can check that website for your project as well. Make sure to move it below foreground layer. Correct the image until it will look a bit realistic. But now if we play back the video you will notice that it looks weird cause it's an image and it doesn't move with the video. Let's quickly fix that and make that image live. Select your original layer and toggle it on. Now solo it so we can see only the clip without any effects and images. Now make sure to scroll to the moment where the freeze layer ends and cut original layer there. Make sure to cut your image there as well, cause we need to animate only that part of our video and not the whole clip. Now scroll to very beginning of original layer, then click on it and go to tracker and hit on track motion. We should simply track the background or foreground in our video now, find some good contrasted spot in your clip and move track point there. Make sure to make track point a bit bigger for a better analyzing. For the best analyzing and smooth results, click on options and select RGB, then click on adapt feature on every frame and hit OK. Now click on track forward and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done, create new null object. Cut null layer to match your original layer's length. Then click on edit target and make sure to select the null you have created. Click on apply now and hit OK. Since we have tracked null, unsolo null and original layers and toggle off the original layer, we don't need it anymore. Select your downloaded image and link it to a null. If you play back the video you will see that it moves with your clip and that looks way better. Enable motion blur on your image layer, then correct the position of it until it looks fine to you. The transition is ready but, let's add a shake effect once the building hits the ground. I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.